Now this is a concept known as header linked list. Header linked list is nothing but a linked list, but its first node of the linked list will be having a structure different from the other nodes of the linked list. Now this first node of this header linked list is known as the header node and this particular header node will contain the summary of different nodes in a single place. We know that if I want to count the number of nodes in a linked list, I shall have to traverse the full node. If I want to get the maximum, if I want to get the minimum of all info, then I shall have to traverse this full linked list. So to avoid this particular difficulties, we are having one header node where we are keeping the summary of different info available in this particular linked list in other nodes in one place. So here is one example of header node. You see this is the header node and this is known as header linked list. So for the demarcation I have put another color for this header node. So you see here for each and every ordinary node we are having the info and link, info and link, info and link in this way. So we are having two fields. One is the info field and the one is the next field. Okay. So in this way other nodes are there. But this node which is the header node is having the structure defined in a separate way. So it is having one, two, three fields. It can be having 100 fields also. So that will depend upon our implementation. So this particular node structure, whatever we have made here is something like this. What is the first one? That is the count of nodes. So we are having one, two, three, four. Four, four nodes are there. So I'm putting here four. What is this one? This is my maximum info. What is the maximum out of them? That is 100. So that's why this max info is 100 here. And what is the what is the name of this particular field? That is a mean info. So what is the minimum value we are having? 4. So that's why this particular field is having 4. I could have kept the average of all this uh, node info or any other data, whatever I require. So they will be kept in the header node. So now if the query has come, so what are the no, how many nodes are there in the linked list? I need not to traverse this full linked list from the header node only as it is at the header part. So the pointer which will be pointing to that let it be start. So from the start implies this count or note count will give me the respective note count of the total linked list. So in this way this is the concept of header node and header linked list. I want to discuss two issues. Issue number one, if you perform any insertion or deletion operation on this particular linked list then this header node data all the fields are to be updated. Let us suppose I have done one insertion here. So in that case what will happen? This node count will get increased and obviously I shall have to check the info of that particular new node and that may that may uh, allow us or that may insist us to change the maximum value or the minimum value. So that, that is the issue number one. So that means whenever you are performing any kind of insertion or deletion operation on this header linked list in those cases the header node needs to be updated after doing insertion or deletion. So I discussed issue number one. Issue number two. So what about the algorithms we wrote prior to this particular video, prior to this particular session, we most of the cases we wrote PTR is equal to start. We wrote PTR is equal to start for traversing, for searching or something. Here in this case the algorithm will be written as PTR is equal to start next. That means initially we wrote PTR. So for the other uh, previous algorithms we wrote PTR is equal to start and then we went for the other uh, while body or something. But here we shall have to write PTR is equal to start implies next because my first node, the first ordinary node is not the at the first place it is from the second place onwards. So that is why PTR is equal to start implies next. So this particular statement will replace PTR is equal to start. So in the next video let us do one insertion operation on this particular header linked list so that you can get the idea how to write the respective algorithm on, on different operations of this header linked list. So please watch that one because that will be in the continuation of this particular session. Thanks for watching this video.